Muy buenas tardes, bienvenidos a 60 segundos de la oración final para martes 21 de julio de 2020. Quise agradecer a nuestros voluntarios uh, del Banco de Comida. So ya está abierto el Banco de Comida otra vez los jueves a 9 a 12, 9 a 12. Hemos coordinado con la diócesis, con uh, la policía, con los bomberos, y uh, la ciudad nos ha dado unos conos, entonces el proceso es tienes que entrar por carro, en tu carro, y cuando llegan enfrente del banco de comida, uh, tienes que abrir a parte, una parte de atrás uh, y van a poner la comida ahí. No van a entrar, dentro, no van a poner comida dentro del vehículo donde hay pasajeros. Uh, quisiera agradecer a Lupe y Lynn Resendez por toda la energía y enfoque que han dado a ese proyecto. Uh, Lynn es una maravilla de energía, creatividad e iniciativa. Y ellos, uh, pero hay un equipo ahí que llevó muchos años uh, que de hecho se responsabiliza para el Banco de Comida. Es un compromiso increíble de mucho tiempo, no solamente 9 a 12 cada jueves, pero es preparar y recibir comida de varios donantes durante la semana. Ellos pasan muchísimas horas cada semana para ser posible ese servicio a la comunidad. So les agradezco mucho. Uh, quisiera agradecer esta semana a uh, una familia ahí, so Blanca, Blanca Hernández, o con tu tanta de su familia ahí, uh, de voluntarios. So voluntarios uh, en nuestra propia siempre son un reto, entonces quiero felicitar a ella por traer tantos, la gran mayoría de su familia, pero otros también. So, muchísimas gracias, Blanca Hernández. Oremos. Vamos a aprovecharnos de una palabra, uh, una oración escrita por otro jesuita, uh, Joseph Tetlo, uno de los expertos mundiales en la espiritualidad ignaciana. También, um, eso viene de un libro, de una colección de reflexiones y oraciones. Uh, y fue en obra de uh, Luis Sabri. So, listen to Love, Escucha el Amor. So, Listen to Love es el título de su libro. El hijo respirar el aliento de Cristo. El título de esta oración. El hijo de esperar al aliento de Cristo, eso hace que toda la vida sea santa. El hijo de ver la carne de Cristo, que dura más que la corrupción y la descomposición del pecado. El hijo de la sangre de Cristo, a través de mis venas y en mi corazón, eso me marea de alegría. El hijo de las aguas vivas que fluyen de su lado para lavar mi propio yo y el mundo mismo. El hijo de la terrible agonía de Cristo para cargar mis penas sin servicio, con significado, sin sentido, con significado. Y para que mi dolor se pregne con poder. Te elijo buen Jesús, ya sabes, te elijo buen Señor, cuéntame. Entre las victorias que has ganado en amargas heridas, nunca me cuentes entre los extraños para ti. Hazme salva de todo lo que busca destruirme. Invócame para que venga a ti. Manténme firme entre ángeles y santos, cantando sí a todo lo que has hecho, exaltando en todo lo que quieres hacer para los siglos de los siglos. Entonces, durante este tiempo, Padre de todos, Manténme desde el centro de mi ser, riendo a Cristo en el mundo. Amén. Y que la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo, venga a nosotros y permanezca por siempre. Muy buenas noches. Gracias por estar con nosotros otra vez.
So let us open our hearts in prayer. Let us be conscious as we read the scriptures, especially uh, the resurrection accounts, that really the uh, initial revelations come from the women and through the women, and then later pass to the men. So we can say that the, the founding of our faith has more to do with the women than uh, the men. However you want to uh, look at that or interpret that, let's pray that women continue to grow in leadership roles in our church today. For this we pray to the Lord. And men often say women have a different way of looking things, and let's pray for all the gifts that that brings to us. For this we pray to the Lord. And let's pray that we be good evangelizers. For this we pray to the Lord. And for the prayers that are in your own hearts and minds. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We offer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice, mine and yours, be acceptable to God the Almighty. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And may the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you governed all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he spoke in your words to us, called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending with all the angels, we proclaim your glorious and joyful celebration. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. When as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you, send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before his to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When Therefore, Holy Fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, whom you seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all other bishops with priests and deacons and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, they constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead of faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come into an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her, husband, her spouse Joseph, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Ignatius Loyola, Maria Rose de Shane, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter into my room, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And may the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come to us all and remain forever. Amen. Let us go forth to evangelize. Thank you. Thank you.